Tonight, coming to you from the Hollywood Legion lanes for television's biggest sports jackpot, $35,000. In the first match tonight, Bob Strampy meets George Howard. The winner to challenge the King of the Hill, Jim St. John. You will also be seeing three of America's wackiest comedians rolling a ball for their favorite charity. It's Jackpot Bowling, starring Milton Berle, and brought to you by Miracle Mild Phillies, the best-selling cigars in the USA. Featuring Phillies Perfectos, extra size, rich taste, Phillies Perfectos. And by Brunswick, the number one name in bowling. Now, here he is, your host, Milton Berle. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, boy. Oh, what a crowd. What a crowd. Thank you. Well, it only proves one thing. You have no place to go either. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, uh, we all have a new president, and he really believes in action. He's only in the White House three days, and already he's signed his first bill. <laughs> Name me's electric bill for December. <laughs> I just got back from the inauguration washing myself, and boy, it was a crowd. Millions of people. I know that Kennedy has a large family, but that was ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> and, and what an exciting two days. It started Thursday night with the inauguration gala. 24 of the biggest stars appeared on the show, and they put me on next to last. <laughs> Believe me, I waited so long to get on, it was time to vote for Stevenson again. <laughs> But it was really, it was really a great show. Wonderful show. It opened with Leonard Bernstein playing the national anthem like it was never played before. He stopped after every four bars and explained it. <laughs> and, and then Friday afternoon, they had the inauguration ceremony, you know, the swearing in and the parade. And while I was watching it, I couldn't help thinking, wouldn't it be funny if Kennedy didn't really win the election and the whole thing was a stunt for candid camera? <laughs> It was really wonderful, especially the inaugural ball on Friday night. And the, the men, the, all the men wore white tie and tails, and I don't like to admit this, but I was the only one there who wore a Nixon button. <laughs> well, if it wasn't politics, my suspenders broke. <laughs> Boy, you should, you should have seen the expensive furs on the women. Of course, I don't want to brag, but my wife, Ruth, created the biggest sensation. She came in wearing Ole Cassini across her shoulders. <laughs> At, at this, I got to tell you, Sinatra, he brought 10 different outfits to Washington. Really, he did. He was so busy changing, he missed the whole inauguration. <laughs> <laughs> of course, the highlight of the entire inauguration was uh, Mr. Kennedy, uh, President Kennedy's speech. It was really inspiring. In fact, even when Khrushchev heard and he read the speech, he agreed with it. He said he wants peace, too. The only difference is Kennedy wants world peace, and Khrushchev wants a piece of the world. <laughs> <laughs> You won't get it, I'll tell you that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. And now, ladies and gentlemen, before we start our first match of the evening, here's a little question for all you bowling fans. Have you ever noticed how different bowlers vary in their delivery? Well, here's an old pro with a different kind of delivery. Watch this because it's very interesting. Watch it. When the mail arrives, it's a chance to pass a few friendly words like telling the mailman about your favorite cigar. Ah, but wait. The mailman has a favorite all his own. And what do you know? It turns out you're both talking about the Miracle Mild Phillies smoking Cousins. Full-size Phillies Blunts and Slim Trim Phillies Panatellas. Yes, with either shape, you enjoy Miracle Mild smoking Pleasure. Phillies smoking Cousins, best-selling Blunts and Panatellas in the USA because they're best smoking. Mild enough for all smokers to enjoy. In the handy fresh pack, five for 39. Put a pack of pleasure in your pocket. Miracle Mild, Mild Phillies. Five for 39. Yes, it's only natural that Phillies are the best selling blunts and panatellas in the USA. You know why? Because they're the best smoking. Take your choice, Phillies blunts or slim trim panatellas, both Miracle Mild and both. Five for 39. You try them. 
They're really wonderful. And now it's time for our first match, ladies and gentlemen. And right after, three of America's kookiest comedians will drop by to roll a ball for their favorite charity. In this first game, Bob Strampy will be bowling against George Howard, the winner to challenge our King of the Hill, Jim St. John, for tonight's giant jackpot of $35,000. Gentlemen, the lanes are all yours, and good luck. Take it away, Chick Hearn. It's all yours. Well, thank you very much, Milton. Hi again, everybody. Don't forget now, on jackpot bowling, we bowl for strikes only. Six consecutive strikes by either or both men would get that man in the first game, $5,000. Now tonight from Detroit, we have teammates. First on lane 32, Bob Strampy. With our public address system off here, Johnny Clare is our referee. Strampy, 5'10", 155, 29 years old, married to Marlene, father of three children. Come on, baby! Now, 5'8", 112 pounds, 30-year-old, married to D, three children from Detroit, George Howard. Hurry it up, mix them up. The seven pin fails, so it's one nothing. Six in a row for $5,000. Both men can get it. In 1960, this fellow Strampy won the strike and spare tournament in New York. Five game average, 222. A little bit light, and it's one to nothing as we go to the bottom of the second. George Howard here, 5'8", 112 pounds, is called Splinters by his friends, one of the smallest professional bowlers. Come on, George. Open in the first two frames. It's one to nothing, Strampy. In case neither man gets the jackpot, then of course the man with the most strikes would go to the second game against Jim St. John for $35,000. This fellow's best sanction series 804 hey he got him bob strampy took off the big split the 710 how about that oh he's outside outside george is so it's two nothing now like match play golf in case one bowler would have more strikes and the other bowler has frames left the game would end right there unless one of the bowlers had a strike, a chance for the jackpot. Here's Strampy. Looking for the double. The two five remain, and it's two to nothing as we go to the bottom of the fourth. Strampy cannot get the jackpot. Howard, with a strike here, could start a string. He's on the head pin. So he comes up dry for the fourth straight time. The pressure on these young fellas, Strampy 29, Howard 30, is tremendous. This fella's best season average is 211. His current season average in Detroit, two leagues, 217 and 229. The four pin. So our jackpot cannot be won, but we're still bowling for a great big thousand dollars. There's a picture of Howard's fingertip grip. He gets a semi-roller with five steps. Gonna have to hurry. He's trying to bowl it a little outside, apparently, and can't get it up. He has slowed down his ball to about half its normal speed, he told me. All right, Bob Strampy. In 1960, in other words, just last month in December, he was fourth in the World Invitational in Chicago. That looks like it might be, nope, the 10 pin. He came in just a little light and couldn't carry. So it's two nothing going to the bottom of the six. Nine frame match, jackpot bowling, thousand dollars to the winner. And boy, that's a lot of dough. Part of our huge throng here enjoys Howard's first strike. Two to one, top of the seventh, Strampy. 11 300 games, three of them sanctioned. The Brooklyn, all but the six. So now, George Howard, who came up empty in the first five, could tie it up here in the bottom of the seventh. His best average came last year, 225 with that fingertip grip in a 1960 Detroit League, his season average. The 2-5 and lane 33 is giving Howard plenty of headaches. He can't get up to that head pin even though he has slowed his ball down. All right, Strampy now could put Howard Dormy if he strikes. There it is. Now, ladies and gentlemen, a three to one Strampy leads Howard. Two frames left for Howard. So he must strike in both the eighth and ninth. If he misses here, 
it's all over. He got it. Great clutch bowling by George Howard. Now Strampy can win it with a strike. Howard wouldn't even bowl on the bottom of the ninth because it would be four to two. That's it. That's it. The final score. Strampy four. Howard two. Milton? How about that, ladies and gentlemen? Strampy four. Howard two. Oh, congratulations on winning our first match, Bob. I guess uh, Lady Luck wasn't with you. Uh, what, what happened? You blew, you know, this afternoon at practice, he had six, six straight strikes in a row. And uh, what happened to Well, I think I bowled very bad. I think I got a little nervous. Uh, Money staring you in the face or something? Possibly that, but uh, when you get down in this game, it isn't like being a regular game. You're down a <laughs> <I guess>. strike. <laughs> well, he's wonderful, though, isn't he, huh? Great boy. Well... Uh, George, better luck next time. The breaks will go. We'll right now have a check here for $250. And Lori Brady, our lovely filly, has a box of Philly sports for you. Thank you very much, Lori. Happy smoking, and let's wish him real good luck, ladies and gentlemen. Swan. There's your winner, Bob Snappy. Lori Brady. Isn't she adorable, huh? So, Lori, tell me, how's, how's Chances tonight? Fine. <laughs> I hate to disappoint you folks, but Chances is the name of her dog. <laughs> I'll see you later, darling. Bye. Bye. Nee, 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 nee. There she goes, the original untouchable. Well, step over here, boy. Congratulations on your victory, and here's your check for one thousand dollars and right here now you're going to have a few minutes to relax and of course you're in a few few minutes you're going to challenge our king of the hill jim st john in the giant jackpot tonight ladies and gentlemen worth thirty five thousand dollars a big hand for bob scrampy let's give him a big hand sit right down over there whoa thanks bob and now before we meet our three celebrity bowlers of the evening here's something i'd like you to watch whenever you're out bowling here's what might possibly happen when you don't own a custom matic fitted brunswick bowling ball take a good look at this watch it it's too tight help help i told him it was too tight he needs a brunswick ball with custom matic fit Exclusive Customatic Fitting lets you action test your ball before you buy. Get a lifetime guarantee against defects in materials and workmanship. And Brunswick offers the widest selection of bowling bags and shoes, too. So you and your family always bowl Brunswick. The champions do. Yes, sir. Yep. So remember, bowl Brunswick because the champions do. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to present our celebrity bowlers, the zaniest, craziest, funniest trio since brothers were invented, ladies and gentlemen, my very dear friends, Al, Jimmy, and Harry, the hilarious Rich Brothers. Let's bring them on. Hey! Harry! Boy! Wait! Hold! Get it! Hold it, will you? Boy, hold it, will you? Come up here! Come up here! Harry, Jimmy! Come up here! Will you come up here? Come on up here. Let's bring them up here, ladies and gentlemen. Let's bring them up here. Come on. What is, what is with this kissing? What, I invited you down here to throw a ball. Throw a ball? Yeah. I thought you had invited us here to have a ball. <laughs> no, I, I said throw a ball. That's what I said. Oh, no, I'll be right back. I want to kiss that redhead again. <laughs> wait a minute. Be kind. Oh. George, I saw yeah, her first. I told her to come out from the outside. I don't want you to argue. Because we have a show. There she is out there. We have a show. I was going to Oh boy, what is it? Welcome to crackpot bowling. <laughs> Look, boys, I asked. Oh. Now wait a minute. The reason that I asked you to come over here tonight is to throw a ball for your favorite charity. But first, we have to decide on which of you is going to throw the ball. Now tell us, which is the best athlete? Well, I'm the best golfer. Ask any guy at Hillcrest. Really? Well, when it comes to sports, I'm the best tennis player. Ask any guy at the racket club. Really? Uh, yeah, but I'm the best wrestler. <laughs> Ask any girl at the YWCA. I've seen, 